Public UGC is here, and I'm going to be going over what it means in this short video. The Roblox UGC program was originally founded in 2019. Over time, star creators got access to upload their own accessories as well. And in the most recent developer conference, we got word that in 2024, Roblox UGC will be made public. So who can actually create UGCs now? Any player who is ID verified, has premium of a thousand robots upwards, and who doesn't have many recent moderations on the platform. Once this update rolls out later today, head into the Create tab, select Creations, and then Avatar Items. And from here, you can manage your different accessories. However, I'll link a full tutorial in the description. Here's a quick brief of how this will work. Those who are eligible can upload as many accessories as they wish every day, but only able to publish one limited UGC a day. The creator of the item will earn 30% of the revenue. If sold through a game, the game owner will get 40%, and the rest goes to Roblox. The stock price of free limited items has gone up drastically, now sitting at 100 Robux. This means if you want to set a stock of 1,000 for your free Roblox Limited, you'll need to pay at least 100,000 Robux in advance. That's pretty steep. This does, however, reduce the amount of copy-pasted items, at least hopefully. For paid limiteds and non-limited UGCs, you'll have to pay between 1,000 and 16,000 for publishing advance, and you can read more about how this system works on the Dev Forum post. Recently, Roblox did introduce better IP management tools, which should hopefully cut down on the blatant copy-pasted items. I think this will really be one of those time-will-tell scenarios. It's great to give more people the ability to create their own UGCs, and I'll definitely be interested to see what people are creating, but the increased costs of publishing and possibility of the marketplace being spammed with copy-pasted creations is slightly worrying. So what are your thoughts on this?